Hello everyone. Um, again, let's have another lesson and this time we'll talk about types of decimal. So, nasa decimals pa rin tayo. Okay? Alright. Uh, take note. Okay. Uh, siguro nahalata nyo in some other videos about types of decimals. They talked about rational number. So, explain ko na rin bakit kaya. Okay? Right. Hinanap ko yung pinakamadali or pinakasimpleng description of what is a rational number. Okay. It says here, a rational number is a number that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Kaya nga, rational from the word ratio. Examples of which are fractions and decimals. So, fractions and decimals are examples of rational numbers. And pwede kasi sila isulat okay, as ratio. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, ratios are written usually in fractions. Right? So, examples of rational numbers are fractions and decimals. And a fraction can be expressed as a decimal and vice versa. So, a decimal can also be expressed in fraction. Okay? And when you convert a fraction to its decimal form, okay, usually kasi dinidivide mo lang yan. And then, when you divide that, okay, you come up with the different types of decimals. Kaya na pinag-uusapan yung rational number. Okay? Kasi decimals and fractions are part of or are an example of a rational number. Right? Okay. Let's have okay, let's have an example. Okay? Um, okay. One example that we have here is one half. Okay? One half is a fraction. But if we are going to uh, to uh, represent this or change this into its decimal form, okay? The divide mo lang yan. Kasi nga, sabi ko rin nung una, a fraction denotes division. So, divide mo lang yan. You would say, 1 divided by 2. Pwede mo rin kasi basahin to as 1 over 2 or 1 divided by 2. And then, if we're going to do long division, okay? Tandaan, yung unang binanggit ang nasa loob Hule is the divisor, yun yun nasa labas, di ba? So, that would be 1 divided by 2, right? Now, since we are talking about decimals na, okay, wala na dapat tayong remainder, okay? Um, hanapan natin ang paraan na ang remainder ay magiging 0 hanggat maaari, okay? So, with this example, check natin ha, okay? So, 1 divided by 2 ay kulang. And since wala nang katabi, wala nang, uh, wala nang other digits dyan, okay, that would be 0. Kailangan mo sumagot dyan. Okay? So, 0 times 2, that would be 0. So, 1 times, ay, 1 minus 0, that would be 1. Okay? And since we are talking about decimals na, eh, pwede natin yung ituloy. Diba? Pwede naman lagyan ng point zero zero yan. Pareho lang sa pera. Pwede 1 peso, 1 lang. Pwede, pwede rin 1.00. So, any number or any whole number ay pwede lagyan ng decimal point sa gilid. Diba? So, lagyan natin ng decimal point. Okay? Then, iangat mo yan sa taas para pwede natin magdagdag ng zero. And then, since meron na dito, bring down natin yan. Yan. So, this is now 10 divided by 2. So, ang sagot natin would be 5. Ba? And then, 5 times 2, that would be 10. And then, 10 minus 10, that would be 0. And, tapos na tayo. ba? Kasi wala na eh. Wala nang, uh, wala nang natira. So, 1 half now, or 1 half therefore, um, is equal to 0 0.5 in decimal. Diba? Okay, let's have another example. Okay, I have here 13 over 4. Okay, again, divide natin ha to change this into decimal. So, we have here 13 again divided by 4. And, merong um, tatlo na apat sa 13. So, 13 divided by 4, that would be 3. So, 3 times 4, that is 12. 
And then 13 minus 12, that is 1. Again, dahil meron pa naman tayong 1, dagdagan natin ang point dyan para makadagdag tayo ng 0. So, point dito and point na rin sa taas or decimal point. Dagdagan natin ng 0 para pwede na natin ibaba. Okay? So, baba na natin. So, 10 na to ngayon divided by 4 ay may dalawa. ba? Yan. So, 2 times 4 that is 8. Now, 10 minus 8 that is 2. Tama, ba? And then, since may 2 pa, dagdagan ulit natin ng 0. And then, ito ibaba natin dito bring down natin. So, 20 na to. So, 20 divided by 4, that is 5. ba? And then, 5 times 4, that is 20. And then, 20 minus 20, that is 0. Okay? So, kaya natin nilagyan ng 0 dyan para itabi dun sa natira. Kasi, pwede pa natin ituloy, okay? Kung ba, idadagdag mo yung 0 dyan. Okay? And, tandaan ha, hindi natin dinagdagan ang value. 13 pa rin yan. Uh, tandaan yung sinabi ko tungkol tung sa pera. Pwede mong isulat ang 13 pesos na uh, 13 lang. Pwede rin 13.00. So, wala tayong dinagdag. Um, instead, dagdagdag lang tayo ng decimal places para may sagot tayo dito. At uh, matatapos na yung division ng walang remainder. Right? So, since 0 na ito, tapos na ito. So, 13 over 4 is just equal to, okay, that is 3.25. Right? Another example. We have 3 over 25. So, that would be 3 divided by 25. So, kulang, di ba? 3 divided by 25, it's kulang. So, since wala na dyan, okay, kasi decimal places na yan dyan, hindi pwede. Dapat may sagot na tayo dyan. So, this is 0. 0 times 25, that would be 0. And then, 3 minus 0, that is 3. And then, dagdag na tayo ng point para makababa na itong kasunod dito. Ah, so, dagdag ng point, dagdag ng point. And then, dagdag ng 0. So, baba natin itong 0, tabi natin dito. Okay, so this is now 30 divided by 25 ay may isa. And then, 1 times 25, that is... 25 and then 30 minus 25 may sobrang 5. Since may sobrang 5, dagdagan natin ulit ng 0. Okay, para pwede na nating ibaba yan dito. Okay. So we have now 50 divided by 25, kasya na. So this is 2. 2 times 25 is 50 and then 50 minus 50 Ayan, zero na. So, natapos na ang ating division. ba? So, this time now, pwede natin sabihin na 3 over 25 is equal to 0 0.12. Diba? So, take note sa lahat ng ginawa natin dito sa tatlo na to. Okay. ba natatapos yung uh, division natin? Ayan no, zero na yung dulo. O, tama, ba? So, we have an exact answer sa tatlong uh, fractions na ito. Nakakuha tayo ng exact decimals. Okay? So, ang una is 0. 0.5. Ang, una is, ang sunod is 3.25. And then, 0. 0.12. Okay? I-exact ang mga sagot natin dahil natatapos yung division process natin. Tama? ba? So, yung, de yung decimal na, na ito, decimals na ito, or decimal quotients na ito, dahil natatapos, ay tinatawag nating terminating decimal. Oh, terminate, di ba? Terminate, natatapos. Uh, terminating, natatapos. Uh, terminal, katapusan ng biyahe, di ba? Kaya siya tinawag na terminating decimal. Natatapos. So, ayan no? Kasi zero na sa dulo eh, di ba? So, these are examples of terminating decimals. Kasi tapos na siya, wala nang karugtong. Di ba? Okay, let's have another example. Alright, we now have one third. Okay, that would be one divided by three. Okay, so this will be zero, dahil kulang. And then zero times three is zero. And then minus na, one minus zero, that is one. And dahil may one pa tayo, dagdagan natin ng point dito. 
Okay, lagyan natin ng decimal point para makadagdag tayo ng zero. And then, since ito na yung sunod, bring down natin. Okay, so we now have 10 divided by 3 and that is 3. And then, 3 times 3, that is 9. Diba? And then, 10 minus 9, that would be 1. And since may 1 pa, dagdag tayo ulit ng 0. Dagdag lang tayo ng dagdag hanggat meron pa dyan. Okay? So, 10 and 0 na. Dagdag natin dito. So, 10 divided by 3, we have 3. And then, 3 times 3, that would be 9. And then, 10 minus 9, that would be 1 again. So, kung nahalata nyo, lagi siyang may remainder 1. At kahit pa nagdagdag na tayo ng 0, tapos uh, sinama natin dito sa uh, sobra na 1, okay? Pag nag-divide tayo ulit, ganun ulit, okay? May remainder na 1. So, kahit pa dagdagan mo ng dagdagan ng 0 iyan, okay? Hindi mauubos ang 1. So, lagi nating sagot dyan would be point 0.3, 3, and then laging sunod 3, 3, 3. Hindi yan matatapos. Diba? Kaya, dahil alam mo na hindi na yan natatapos, okay, pwede mong sabihin na 1 third is just equal to 0 0.3. Kaya lang, may bar sa taas. Ibig lang sabihin nun, ang 3 dito ay inuulit. Inuulit at hindi natatapos. Yan yun ha. Kaya siya may bar sa taas. Okay? Then, let's have this one. 8 divided by 3. Okay, 3 ulit ang uh, divisor. So, try natin. 8 divided by 3. Merong dalawa, di ba? So, 2 times 3, that would be 6. So, 8 minus 6, that is 2. So, dagdagan natin ng decimal point para, para makadagdag tayo ng 0. Okay? So, dagdagan natin ng 0. So, baba natin dito. Yan. So, 20 divided by 3, that would be 6. Then, 6 times 3, that is 18, diba? Then, 20 minus 18, that would be 2. Again, dagdagan natin ng 0 kasi may 2 pa eh. So, dagdag tayo ulit ng 0. Bring down. Okay, so 20 divided by 3, 6 ulit. 6 times 3, 18 ulit, diba? And then, 20 minus 18, that would be 2, diba? And then, yan. Dahil lagi siyang umuulit na at laging may natirang 2, hindi pwede na natin sabihin na 8 divided by 3 is just equal to 2.66. Kasi, or 2.6, okay, tapos may bar sa taas. So, ang 6 dito ang umuulit. Inuulit-ulit lagi. So, Itigil na natin dahil hindi yan matatapos. Laging may sobrang 2 yan. So, you can just say that 8 over 3 is equal to 2.6 and with a bar dun sa taas ng 6. To indicate na yung number 6 ay inuulit at hindi natatapos. Yun ha? Okay. Let's have the next one. Okay. This time, it's 9 divided by, uh, 10 divided by 9 or 10 over 9. So, let's have 10 divided by 9. So, merong isang 9 dito, ba? So, that would be 1. So, lagyan natin ang sagot na 1 dyan. And then, 1 times 9 is 9. And then, 10 minus 9, that would be 1. Diba? So, since may 1 pa, o, oh, subukan natin ulit, dagdagan ng decimal point. And then, 0. So, bring down natin to kasi ito na yung sunod. Yan, so 10 divided by 9, you have 1. 1 times 9, you have 9. And then 10 minus 9, you have 1 again. Oh, dagdag ulit tayo ng 0. Okay, and then tabi ulit dito. Baka pwede na. And then 10 divided by 9, 1 ulit. 1 times 9, 9 ulit. And then, yan, 10 minus 9, that is 1 ulit. Kaya... Okay, sabihin na lang natin na 10 over 9 is equal to 1.1 na may bar sa taas yung 1. Okay, kasi paulit-ulit na siya. Paulit-ulit na hindi natatapos. So, nandun lang sa sinasabi ko, yun yung pangalawang type of uh, decimals. So, paulit-ulit, 
that would be repeating. Hindi natatapos, that would be non-terminating. So, ang tawag natin dito sa mga decimals na ito na hindi na ulit ang numbers or ang digits at hindi natatapos are okay, ito na ngayon ang tawag natin repeating non-terminating decimal. Ibig sabihin, paulit-ulit hindi natatapos. Okay? Right, let's have another example of those repeating and non-terminating decimals. We have here 23 divided by 11 or 23 over 11. So, 23 divided by 11, meron, kayong, meron tayong dalawa, di ba? So, dalawang 11 or 2 times 11 is 22. And then, 23 minus 22, that is 1. So, since may 1 pa, o dagdagan natin ng point, yan, para makalagay tayo ng 0. Ba? Tandaan, yung 0 na idadagdag mo ay pwede lang mangyari after the decimal point. Okay? Tandaan yung pera ulit, ha? So, 0, meron na, dagdag natin dito, bring it down. So, 10 divided by 11, kulang. Kaya, lagyan natin ng 0, di ba? Then, 0 times 11 is... 0. And then, 10 minus 0, that is 10. So, dagdagan natin. O, lumaki na nga yung remainder. Dagdagan natin ulit ng 0. And then, bring it down. 100 divided by 11 ay meron ng 9. Diba? And then, 9 times 11 is 99. Okay? And then, may sobrang isa. Diba? So, dagdagan pa natin ang 0. Sige. And then, bring it down again. Okay. 10. And then, 10 divided by 11. 0 ulit. Diba? Yan. And then, 0 times 11 is 0 ulit. And then, ayun na. Paulit-ulit na siya. Diba? Kasi, 10 ulit. Okay. And then, okay. So, ibig sabihin lang nun, okay, hindi na ito tumitigil. Umuulit na ang digits hindi tumitigil. But this time, okay, so, this is now equal to 2.09. This time, hindi na isang digit ang umuulit dalawa. So, 0.9. Kasi kasunod nito would be 9 na naman. Kung, iti, it, kung itinuloy natin to, this is 0 0.090909. So, since dalawang digit ang inuulit, okay, eh, dilagyan mo ng bar dun sa dalawang digit na umuulit. Okay? So, ang umuulat dito is yung 0, 09. Okay? So, that would be 0 0.09090909 0 0 0 and so on. Okay? Another example is 5, 11. So, we have 5 divided by 11. So, dito, 0. Kasi kulang, di ba? So, 0 times 11, that would be 0. And then, 5 minus 0 is 5. So, dagdagan natin ng decimal point para pwede tayong magdagdag ng 0. And then, tabi natin dito. Bring it down. So, 50 divided by 11. Eh, merong apat, di ba? And then, 4 times 11 is 44. And then, minus natin. 50 minus 44, that is 6. So, may remainder pa. Dagdagan ulit natin ng 0. Subukan ulit. And then, bring it down. 60 divided by 11 ay may 5. Mabilis lang mahanap yan. 55, dala dalawa kasi 11. Pag dalawa, 22, 33, 44, 55. Diba? So, 5 times 11, that is 55. And then, 60 minus 55, that is 5. Okay? And then, dagdag ulit, 0. Sige. And then, 50 divided by 11 ay 4 ulit. Then, 4 times 11 ay 44 ulit. So, hindi na naman ulit ito natatapos. Paulit-ulit na naman. Ayan, o, oh, 44. So, kung paulit-ulit na naman, 11, uh, 5 over 11, ang sagot natin is just 0.45. Kasi ang umuulat dito ay 4545. Kaya, dagdagan mo lang siya ng bar sa taas ng 4 and 5. Ibig sabihin, yung dalawang yon ang umuulat. So, 0 0.454545. Okay? 
Another example, we have 19 over 18. So, ito ngayon is another um, improper fraction. So, in 19 divided by 18, okay, so since mas malaki ang 19, meron kang isa dyan na 18, di ba? So, 19 divided by 18 is just 1. And then, 1 times 18, that is 18. So, minus natin, 19 minus 18, that is 1. So, since meron tayong um, ano dito, remainder, o dagdagan natin ng point para makadagdag tayo ng 0. So, point, and then point, and then dagdag ng 0. And then, bring it down. Okay? 10 divided by 18, kulang, di ba? So, lagyan natin ng 0. And then, 0 times 18 is 0 ulit. Okay? And then, 10 minus 0, that is 10. So, subukan natin ulit. Dagdagan ng isa pang 0. So, 100 divided by 18 ngayon. Eh, pwede na. Meron na. Diba? So, that is just 5. And then, 5 times 18, that is 90. And then, 100 minus 90, that is 10. Right? O, ganun ulit. Ayan o. Um, 10 ang, ang, ang remainder. Tapos, dito na naman, ganun na naman. So, kung dadagdagan natin ng 0, dagdag natin dito, 0, ang sunod mong sagot dito would be, okay, um, 5, yan. And then, 5 times 18, that would be 90 ulit. So, paulit-ulit na siya, Okay, so 100 minus 90, 10 ulit ang sobra. So, paulit-ulit na siya. So, you could just say na 19 over 18 is just equal to 1.05. Pero, yung 5 dito ang paulit-ulit. Alright, so again, these are examples of repeating non-terminating decimals. Alright. Okay. Alright, now take note again. Take note. So, we will take up another ano na. Okay. Um, take note ulit. Okay. Now, since may rational number, eh di merong irrational number. ba? So, irrational number, okay, ang description lang nito is, um, it's a number that cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Hindi siya pwedeng isulat as a fraction. Hindi siya pwedeng isulat as a decimal. Okay? So, um, irrational numbers are non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. So, hindi ito pareho dun sa mga examples natin dati na terminating, tapos yung isa naman ay repeating, non-terminating. ba? This time, eto na sila ang non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. So, yung irrational numbers, ang ating um, pang, pang pangatlo, pangatlong type of uh, decimal. So, yung una is the terminating, ba? And then, yung pangalawa is yung repeating, non-terminating. And then, ngayon, it's not repeating. So, yung mga digits ay hindi nagre-repeat at hindi rin natatapos. Kaya, ang tawag sa kanila, other name for irrational numbers, are non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. At ano mga example nito? Ito yon, yung pi. Yung value ng pi natin na ginagamit natin in solving um, um, areas of circles, um, ano pa ba, circumferences, basta if it's about circle, ginagamit natin ang pi. And ang ginagamit nyo, kasi elementary pa lang naman kayo, is 3.14. So, hindi na natin consider yung ibang numbers dyan kasi ang haba tatagalan kayo kapag kayo ay nagsasolve, diba? And then, in high school or college, okay, ang ginagamit nila is 3.1416. So, na-round off ang 5 dito. Okay? Pero, okay, um, nira-round off lang yan for computation, pa ease of computation para sa inyo at para sa ibang higher years pero uh, actually, hindi yan natatapos. Ayan yung mga numbers niya. Okay? Doon nandiyan ulit yung 5 pero hindi yan paulit-ulit lagi. Nag-iiba yan 
uh, every uh, place okay so this is an example of a non-repeating non-terminating decimal another examples are yung mga uh, radicals yung mga square root of 2 quadrating square root of 3 okay lahat ng yon basta may mga symbols ng square root okay are uh, considered uh, irrational numbers right so ito yun sila ang non repeating non terminating decimals kasi kung iso solve mo yan okay so for example yung sa square root of 2 ayan no ayan yung masasolve niyan pero uh, don't worry for uh, elementary hindi mo na yan itatackle okay so example lang yan for non repeating non terminating decimals right Okay, now, um, paano natin malalaman or how can we tell or how can you tell if a fraction is a non, is a terminating decimal or a repeating non-terminating decimal? So, kaya, dalawa lang, dalawa lang ang pagpipilian natin. Either magiging terminating ang decimal or magiging repeating or non-terminating ang decimal. So, paano natin malalaman yon, Okay? Para mas madali. ba? Para kayo naman pag nasasol, alam nyo na na ay dapat ganito yung sagot. Dapat umuulit ito. So, kailan mo malalaman yan? Alright? Tignan natin yung dati nating examples ng terminating decimal. So, yun yung 1 half which is equal to 0.5 or 0 0.5. Another one is 13 over 4 which is equal to 3.25 at saka 3 over 25 which is equal to 0 0.12. Okay. Now, compare natin dito sa ating mga repeating non-terminating decimals. So, examples natin doon is one third, which is equal to 0 0.3333 and so on or equal to 0 0.3 with a bar sa 3. Okay? And then, another one is 5 over 11, which is equal to 0 0.454545 and so on. Diba? And that is just equal to 0 0.45 with a bar sa taas ng no 45. Diba? And then, the next one is 9 o, uh, 10 over 9, okay? which is equal to 0, uh, 1.1111 and so on. Okay, and you can just say that this is equal to 1.1 and then ng bar sa taas ay nasa taas ng 1 after the decimal point. So, lahat, lahat na kasunod doon are just 1. Diba? Okay, now, let's take note of the, um, let's take note of the denominators. Okay, ang denominator dito sa terminating decimal ay 2. Diba? Okay. Now, dito sa baba ay 4, kaya lang if you're going to um, factor out 4, pwede itong 2 times 2, ba? So, again, parehong 2. Ito 2, ito powers of 2 lang din kasi 2 times 2 eh. Now, dito naman, okay, kung i-factor out natin ang 25, this is uh, 5 times 5, diba? Or 5 squared, so powers of 5. Tama? Okay. Now, isa lang indication to, Okay, na kapag terminating decimals, right, dapat ang divisor ay 2 or powers of 2. So, pwedeng 2 uh, raised to 2, yun yung 2 times 2. Pwede ring 2 raised to 3 or 2 cube, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Okay, or pwedeng 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 16. So, pwede siyang magiging 2, 4, pwedeng 8, pwedeng 16. Lahat ng yun, kung ganun, ang nasa di baba or sa divisor, terminating yan. Okay. Now, another one is kapag ang factors ng divisor ay 5. So, 5 or powers of 5, okay, ang, diba, ang, ang mga denominator ay terminating pa rin. Okay? And then, another terminating decimals ay combination ng 2 at saka 5. So, ano ba yun? So, pwedeng 2 times 5, pwedeng 10. Okay? 4 times 5, which is 20. So, pwede yun. Kasi 4 is a combination of 
powers of 2 at saka 5. Diba? Or yung, yung, yung 20 pala. Okay? So, combination of uh, 2 and 5 or pwedeng 2 lang quadering 5. Lahat ng yon kung ang divisor okay, or ang denominator ay ganun, terminating yung decimal. Okay? And then, non-terminating uh, non-terminating siya or repeating siya kung ang divisor or ang kanyang denominator ay hindi 2 at hindi 5. Pareho sa 3. Pareho sa 11. Pareho sa 9. Bakit? Kasi ang 9 is just 3 times 3, di ba? So, other than 2 at saka 5, kung merong ibang denominator dyan na hindi 2 at hindi 5, hindi na ito magiging terminating. Instead, magiging repeating, non-terminating decimal. So, paano ba yan? Paano ba yan matignan natin? So, check natin yung next examples. Okay. Alright. Ito na ngayon pala yung exercises. Dito natin tignan. Dito natin i-check. Right? Okay. So, um, let's just tell whether the fraction is a terminating or a repeating non-terminating decimal. At malala, malalaman natin yan dahil titignan lang natin ang denominator, di ba? Kung ang denominator ay 2 or powers of 2, terminating. Kung ang denominator ay 5 or powers of 5, uh, terminating. So, ano ba yung uh, powers of 5? Yun yung ita times mo yung 5 is na ilang beses sa tayo. 5 times 5, 5 times 5 times 5, yun yung powers of 5. Hindi pwede yung 5 times 2 or 5 times 3. Ganun din sa 2. Powers of 2. So, 2, pwede 2 times 2, which is 4. Pwede 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Okay? Pero, hindi pwede 6 kasi 2 times 3 na yun. So, hindi na yun puro 2. Okay? So, yung powers of 2 lang or powers of 1 are terminating. The rest, hindi terminating. Hindi na terminating. Repeating na yun, non-terminating. Unless, kung magsama ang dalawa na 2 at saka 5. Yun lang ha? Okay. Sige. Tignan natin with this one. Okay. Right. 1, 6. Ang factor ng 6 ay 2 and 3. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, this is a repeating, non-terminating decimal. Okay? 3 over 10. Okay. Ang factors ng 10 ay 2 and 5. So, pwede. Kasi 2 ay pwede. 5 ay pwede. Combination ng dalawa ay pwede. So, since 2 and 5 lang ang factors ng denominator, this is a terminating decimal. Alright? Another one, we have 7 over 11. Walang 2, walang 5, diba? Eh, di sigurado, this is a repeating, non-terminating decimal. Okay? Now, if you're going to check this with a calculator, ang mga repeating decimals minsan, or yung repeating digits ay hindi lang dalawa, hindi lang tatlo, minsan nagiging apat or lima. Pero, still, paulit-ulit pa rin siya. Okay? Another one is 8 over 15. Alright? Now, tignan natin yung um, ano niya sa baba. Diba? Ang magkasama ang 5 at saka 3 factors niya. Kaya, this is a repeating, non-terminating decimal. Another one is 5 over 8. Now, yung factors or ay yung, yung denominator dito sa 8 ay uh, denominator niya is 8 at ang factors ng 8 are just 2 2 times 2 times 2 so it is just a power of 2 diba so ibig sabihin since ang um, divisor niya can be factor out into only 2 or powers of 2 this is a terminating again sabi ko diba pwede niyo i-verify okay and then, another one is 5 over 20. Now, this time, ang combination ng uh, denominator niya ay 2 and 5. Diba? Kasi, 2 times 2 is 4. Times 5, edi 20. 
So, mga denominator niya or factors ng denominator niya is just 2 or powers of 2 and 5. Kaya, this is a terminating decimal. Okay? 4 over 16. Alright. Now, 16 is a factor, uh, is a is a power of 2. Okay? Or powers of 2 ito. Kasi 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 times 2, 16. Diba? Or, if you're going to reduce this to lowest term, okay, <coughs> this is just, <coughs> sorry, this is just one fourth. And four is a power of is a power of two, because two times two lang yung four, di ba? So this is a terminating decimal. Another one, we have seven over fourteen. Okay, now kung titignan mo, okay ang ano sa baba, it's uh, this is, ang factors nito ay 2 and 7 tama ba? kaya lang take note ha um, hindi ito naka-reduce to lowest term eto kanina ko i-reduce natin to, to lowest term, kakancel lang yung 5 nito so 1 over 4 lang yan eto ganun din, 1 over 4 diba? kaya lang ito, ikakancel mo ang 7 kasi yung nawala so ang problema natin dito sa um, decimal ay sa denominator niya kasi is the number 7 kasi 2 and 7 ang factors niya diba so supposed to be 2 and 7 dapat repeating ng terminating yan diba kaya lang may 7 ka sa taas pwede mo kasing i-cancel out ang, ang 7 dalawang 7 so kung i-reduce -re natin ito to lowest term this is, this is actually just 1 over 2 or one half, kasi kalahati lang yan, no? Diba? One half. So, this is a terminating decimal. So, uh, para hindi magkamali, be sure na nireduce mo siya to lowest term. Dito kasi nakareduce na yun, eh. Dito hindi siya nakareduce. Pero, since 5 lang naman ang nasa taas, okay, walang, walang problema. Diba? And then dito, ganun din. Kaya lang dito, may 7 na kasi. Ah, hindi rin ito kasama dun sa sinabi nating 2 and 5. Diba? So, 7. May 7 dito. Pero, may 7 din dito eh. Kaya pwede mo i-cancel out yung, yung 7 and then may iiwan na yung 1 half. Okay? So, pasok na siya dun sa description natin. Diba? And then, the next one is 9 over 13. Now, this time, walang factors na pwede sa 13. Walang 2, walang 5. This is already a, a uh, this is already a prime number. So, walang factor itong 13. So, sigurado this is a repeating, non-terminating decimal. And then, the last one is 18 over 12. So, again, Reduce natin to lowest term. Okay? Kasi kung titignan mo, this is a combination of 3 and 4. Diba? Kaya lang, tignan natin, in 18 kasi ay pwede rin sa 3. Kaya if we're going to reduce this to lowest term, divide natin ito by 6. This is 3 halves. Tama, diba? So, ilang 6 meron sa 18? Tatlo. Ilang sa 12? Dalawa. So, i-reduce natin to, to lowest term. This is just 3 halves. So, yung denominator niya ay magiging 2 lang. Diba? So, since 2 ang denominator niya, this is a terminating decimal. Alright? You can verify this using your, uh, your calculator just for checking. And, uh, ma-realize nyo na tama nga pala. So, if ever ang denominator is 2 or 5 or powers of 2 and 5 or a combination ng 2 and 5, terminating lahat yun. Okay? Dapat nga lang nakareduce to lowest term ha? Kasi baka magkakamali kayo. Pareho dito sa 7 over 14, um, dito rin sa 18 over 12. Kasi, um, baka kailangan pang i-cancel yung ibang numbers. ba? So, kung nakareduce to lowest term na at wala ng ibang uh, pwedeng i-factor out, edit check nyo na ang denominator. Alright? So, uh, tandaan lang yon, and then hindi kayo mawala uh, for sure malalaman nyo if a fraction or if uh, a decimal quotient okay, is terminating or repeating non-terminating decimal maliban lang kung irrational so if they are irrational numbers they are already uh, non-repeating non-terminating 
decimal. Alright? Now, sana po na uh, natuto, okay, sa lesson natin. And uh, see you again on another lesson.